uh, let's talk about ISO. So ISO <laughs> is like a fancy word, right? But um, I think ISO is like a, the simplest thing that uh, that about like the triangle of exposure. Uh, we'll talk about that later uh, when we combine the concept of aperture, uh, the shutter speed as well as ISO. But let's um, finish the ISO first. So ISO, let's go back to the days when we have to use the physical shutter, the physical yeah, aperture, we can you yeah, have to use the physical aperture. But ISO is like, we got a film, right? We, we got the not digital, but actually physical film. Oh my gosh, it's like a telephone. So physical film, and in the film we got some crystal, right? And um, so for example, you got like, we take photos in a really dark environment, okay? It's so dark, you can barely see things. But you can use camera and you adjust the ISO and gradually you can see things. But here comes to the catch. Even though you can see things, the photo become grainy. Like, uh, I don't know how to ex exactly express it, but it's just uh, like pretty low resolution. Like um, when you watch a film online and internet connection is not good enough and just become pretty grainy. So got a lot of like color block and a lot of like white dot, something like that. And um, we call that grainy. Um, right now, if you say use an iPhone and take a photo in a really dark environment and you cover the flashlight, just, you know, sort of force the camera to take the photo in a really dark environment, you still get a grainy image. That's amazing because you know you are actually using a digital camera, but still you got that kind of effect. That's because of the ISO. Okay, so the great thing in like traditional um film is that they are using a higher ISO, means that the crystal is bigger, and you sort of can see the crystal. Okay, and um you can sort of. Uh, use ISO as well as the sensitivity of the film interchangeably. So basically the higher ISO, the bigger the crystal and more sensitive they are uh, to the light. So even in a tiny bit of light, they can still show it. But they kind of show the crystal as well. So they are pretty grainy. So it's like dot, dot, dot. So it's kind of like a pixelated or uh, more, much more noise in, in this uh, final film. But in digital camera also, uh, um, you take a photo in a really dark environment, the like digital noise also become pretty grainy. And that's because you crank up the ISO, the image become brighter because it's much more sensitive to the light. But yeah, big, but sometimes you can't get all the information in the dark, okay? Even though you crank the ISO, um, the sensitivity of the sensor is just that much. You can't possibly crank up like hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, ISO and you can get uh, like a perfect resolution. You can't simply, simply can't do that because there's just uh, simply not enough information, okay? And <laughs> to be honest, I think, um, ISO is sort of connected with the whether it's a high-end machine or a say a, a phone but nowadays in fact the phone has got like a pretty powerful algorithm to compensate that but um, yeah but um, if you like use your auto mode and use uh, say a phone or use a camera you take a photo in a pretty dark environment and the camera the first thing they would do uh, they will say, hey, it's too dark, right? It's too dark. So I have to crank up the ISO, make it more sensitive, okay? Even though it's just a tiny little light, I will show it, right? Uh, and since the sensor inside of your camera or uh, inside of your phone is not that powerful enough, so even though the ISO got, got like a really high, uh, got a really crank up to, uh, say, a few thousand, 
Still, it won't give you a perfect image because there is just so little of information and the sensor is just not sensitive enough to show everything. So, uh, and the difference between like a really high-end camera and maybe a normal, like a few hundred bucks phone, uh, the difference the photo they, they take, especially in a pretty dark environment, uh, it will show. And um, of course you need to change ISO in a different light settings. So for example, you got the, uh, um, say really bright sunshine uh, middle of day you take out the camera and the ISO maybe just a uh, hundred maybe and I still got a pretty decent because you got a lot of lights shooting in so you don't need to be too sensitive about it if you like got a pretty high ISO you can actually see that when you adjust the, uh, the ISO on your phone or on the uh, camera it's just too bright like completely um, white image <laughs> you can't see the difference uh, so you can actually see the adjustment uh, but um, the sort of estimation of the ISO and final results of your photo may be a little bit different that's from my personal experience so yeah you have to like actually take the photo and watch it okay yeah that's pretty much more about ISO but I think yeah, from now on, we can combine all this basic concept together and uh, we can actually apply this and make something very interesting. Okay, thanks. Bye.